to our short but important four-day workout week. I see, looks like Steve is on here. Hey, Steve. We're, we're recording. You're on. We're recording? All right, let me go ahead and start the Instagram. All right. Hi, everybody, and happy Tuesday. We're getting a slightly shorter workout week. That does not mean that we are going to be doing any less significant work or hard stuff. Um, I know I took a brief cardio break this weekend uh, and did some more low-key walking and whatnot, and my body is missing getting my throat up. So regardless of what you did or did not do uh, in the past couple days, let's go ahead and get going. Bands are on. Cycles are started. We're going to start with a forearm stars. So pulling the elbows in, extending the fingertips out, in, out, in. I've got my 40 second intervals. We're going in three, two, and one. So starting to get the forearms working. I extend the fingertips, reach them out. Imagine you're grabbing something cold. And I use the analogy on Friday. Um, imagine you're gripping one of those stress balls, really giving a big squeeze. Squeeze. Yeah. Fully extending through the tips of the fingers and grabbing the stress ball in towards the body. Good, and you can keep pulling the elbows in, creating tension in the biceps as well. Out and in. Yes, good, we've got 10 more seconds. Just a nice, easy pace, getting everything warmed up. The second set, we're gonna move a little bit faster. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and give the wrists a shake. Pull those elbows in on the second set. We're gonna go really fast. At four, three, two, let's go, out and in. So I like to imagine I'm either gripping a stress ball or some handlebars, squeeze, squeeze. Like you're biking, you're grabbing the brakes. Out and in, starting to feel those muscles workers. I already feel it in my forearms already. This is what happens when we take a couple days off. Getting those cycles going, pulling the elbows in. Keep moving fast as you can. Let's work through it. We know this is the only thing we are doing for the forearms, so let's make it really good. Good, last 10. Good, we have six. Five, really squeezing, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake it out, nice job. Triceps, continuing to work from smallest to small muscles. We're gonna make our way down onto our mat or our floor space, rooting your hands into the floor, base of the palms are down. Spread your fingers nice and wide, and then press your butt up and off the floor. I'm gonna bend the elbows down, and up. If you want more of a challenge, legs are straight. Do not let your butt hit the floor. Down and up, 40 seconds in three, two, one. Let's hop right into it. After this, we're gonna do our first cardio boost of the day to give the wrist a little break to really press the floor away from you. We have our two sets and then our rest. Good, hips up even higher. There you go. Elbows shoot straight back behind you, pressing through the base of all 10 knuckles as we work. Good. Yes, let's see who we've got today. Good job. Steve, would you mind popping everyone on mute? I'm hearing a little bit of background noise. Thank you. Good, last 10 seconds. Good, get those hips up a little bit higher. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop your butt down, roll the wrists out. Second set, if you want to try an additional challenge, you can lift one leg off the floor with bent legs. Or even harder, lift one leg off the floor, straight leg. 40 seconds. I'll tell you when we're half done. In three, two, one, down and up. The rule still applies. Our butts do not hit the floor at any point. So if you have a leg lifted, it might mean a slightly smaller bend in your elbows. That's okay. Okay, as long as you're fully pushing the floor away from you with straight arms as you lift back up. Woo, if you have a leg lifted in five, we're gonna switch sides. We have three, two, one, opposite leg, hips up. Yes, squeeze your glutes, activate them, keep them involved. Woo, it's the beginning of the week and we're getting everything going. Last 10 seconds. Good. Push, push as hard as you can, floor away from you for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everyone hop on up, tricep stretch, right arm across the body. Let's switch sides, left arm across the body. 
we have two of our cardio boost sets with our bands on our arms today. And the reason is because what we're doing for our cardio boost actually involves our biceps. So I'm gonna take my elbows, glue them together, and my task for you today is don't let your elbows separate for the next minute. So getting into the leg formation, I step my right foot out to the side, I angle my left foot in. So I'm kind of at an angle, and then I go in, out, in, out. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other, and then 30 seconds jump rope. Okay, so all of these, my biceps are contracted. So not only thinking about the lower body and the speed, but also pressing against those bands with the upper arms. All right, let's get it going. Right leg out to the side, left leg angle in, squeeze your elbows together, 30 seconds. Let's go in, out, in, out. Now notice how easy it is for your elbows to start to wanna separate. That's your work, keep them close together and then pump those legs as fast as you can. Yeah, good. Keep bending into the right knee, get low. That's it, mm -hmm. keep it up, last 10. We're gonna go right into the other side in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, elbows stay together. And sometimes if you separate your hands, it can help. In, 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 that's it, woo. Good. Keep that bend in the standing leg, keep pumping it. Boom, in, in, last 10, then we're gonna jump rope. Squeeze, squeeze, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up, jump rope. Good, now are we flinging our arms around or are we squeezing the elbows in and engaging those biceps? Good, light on the toes, heels stay off the floor the whole time. Yes. Fluid direction, jumping rope the opposite way. Maybe bringing a little smile to our face because we're bouncing around our house and we're getting a good old workout while doing it. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, heart rate is elevated. Grab a sip of water, quick, tap, refill, check. Check your palms from white back to normal colored within about three seconds, any more than that, you might want to loosen up your bands a little bit. All right, so once you grab your water, take a gaze at the screen. The next exercise we're going to do is called hands to feet in frog. So I set my feet wider than my hips. My hands root into the floor. I pick myself up, push back into a frog position. So butt towards heels, and then I tap hand to foot. Tap, tap. If getting both off the floor is too much, keep pressing your butt back. Take opposite hand to opposite knee. I don't want you to shift forward. I want you to keep your butt back towards your heels the whole time. Tap, tap, side to side, okay? First set, 40 seconds. Make your way down. Let's step nice and wide. Press your butt back. Hand to foot in three, two, one. Let's go. Tap, tap. That's it. Good. And as you do this, your hips are gonna wanna keep shifting forward. Keep pressing your butt back towards your heels. And ideally, we don't wanna let our hips hike up towards the ceiling. So drop your butt down, get really low as you do it. It makes it even harder. Yes, last 10. Great, Bonnie. Good, everyone see if you can press back even more. We have six, five, hi John, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, give the wrist a roll. So I saw a little bit of this. And that's not bad, but I'd like to see more of this. So my hips are either even or below my shoulders, okay? That pike cheats it just a little bit, okay? So second set, go ahead and tuck those toes wider than the hip distance. Lift your hips up. So knees are about one inch off the mat. Press the hips back, 40 seconds, we're going. Tap, tap, and tap. And if you're worried about piking, don't worry. I'll tell everyone if we're doing it. <sighs> nice, Diane. Gabe, looks fantastic, your hips are great. Go, Kelly, go. Jeff, I can't see you, but nice to have you on here. Chris looks good, Lily awesome, Christy and Kayleen, we're firing. 
Last 10 seconds, drop your butt down even lower, get it closer towards your heels. Use your core to control the movement. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and rest. Get the wrist to roll. All right. Two more things to do for the upper body. We're focusing a bit on our arms today. Is a reverse push-up to spinal extension. So come into that plank position again. I lower all the way down onto my belly as slowly as I can. I take my hands behind my head, lift, tuck my toes, press right back up. I come all the way down, hands to the back of the head, lift, tuck my toes, right back up. And it's okay to do this on the knees if you need to. I want you to go really slowly as you lower yourself down to the floor. So think three, two, one, lift, three, two, one, 40 seconds, time is going. The slower you can lower yourself down, the more we're working the muscles of the chest and the back. So we're working on strength, which is what we want to see, contracting the whole way down. As you lift up, press your elbows back. If it hurts your lower back to lift your feet, you can only do the arms. That's fine. Good, half done. Now, as you press yourself back up, make sure that your hips and your shoulders come up in one long line. So none of this. If you're dipping out, drop your knees so you can support your hips. Good, last 10. Nice. Good, we're gonna come back up into plank in four, three. Good, Kayleen, two and one. Quick wrist stretch. Extend your right arm forward. Reach your fingertips back towards your forearm and then gently take your left hand, press it in. So when we do planks, we're doing this. We're bending the hands the opposite way. Switch sides, left fingertips in towards the forearm. Take the right hand, gently encourage them in. Good. Keep pressing the base of the hand away from you. And then second set of reverse push up to spinal extension. Make your way back into plank. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. We're going in three, two, one, all the way down. Lift, press up. Good. Think of it as a core exercise just as much as anything else. Activating the glutes. Good job, George. Yes. I like it. Nice done. Mm -hmm. After this, we have one more exercise then our heart rate boost, and then we're gonna do our question of the day and our leg bands. Exciting stuff, last 10. See if you can do one and only one more going slowly. First six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, last up. It's a lot of plank work today. Come back into plank position. I call this X plank. So we practice in frog taking hand to foot. This time we're gonna take hand to foot again. So I'm in plank. I shift back, hand to opposite leg, shift forward. Shift back, hand to leg, shift forward, okay? If that's too much, you can always do it on your knees. Tap, tap, or you can just stay in plank and just practice shifting backwards and forwards without lifting the arms, okay? So try and get hand to opposite leg if you can. Make your way into plank position. Ready, set, 40 seconds, let's go. As you're doing this, press your hips all the way up and back behind you. Find a nice hamstring stretch, dropping your heels towards the floor, and then shift it forward. Woo, and forward. Back and forward, and the speed is completely up to you. We have two sets, we are half done with our first one. See if you can get your heels on the floor. Even if you can't, get your heels towards the floor. Last 10. If you feel comfortable adding speed, now is the time. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop those knees and rest. Now, what are we doing here? Why are we doing these? Uh, we're not only working the muscles of the chest and the biceps, we're also working our shoulders. And when we press our hips up and back into this pike position, I'm practicing getting my arms up and overhead my ears like this. 
I'm just in a different position. And when we're practicing this, we're practicing shoulder mobility. So not only strength, but also getting into that range of motion. Good, come into plank, let's set up for our second set. Ready, set, let's go, tap back. Good, using the alternate arm to press your hips all the way up and back, ideally getting our arms as close to in line with our ears as we can. Yes. Fantastic. Good. Half done, and we're going to come up for our second cardio boost. These are good. Mm -hmm. Keep working through it. Try not to bend your knees. So you can keep those legs nice and straight. We have 10 more seconds going all in for six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up to stand. All right, so we have our right leg angled out to the side. My left leg is angled in. I bring my elbows together and I go in, in, keeping the bend in the standing leg. Ready, set, let's go. Woo! Yes. Keep squeezing those elbows the whole time. I like it. Get those knees up. Go, go, go. We are half done with this first side. Good. Now, noticing if you're rounding out your spine, end of that, keep it open. In, in, in. Last 10, and we switch. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other way. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Chest is up the whole time. No getting small. Yeah. Squeeze. Squeeze. And I'd rather you move a little bit slower, keeping those elbows together, than speeding up and flaring everything out to the side. So being really mindful with our movements so we get the maximum use of all of our muscles. Last 10. Woo, pull it in. Good, we're gonna jump rope in five seconds. We have four, three, two, and one. Hop it out. 30 seconds. You can try hopping on one leg if you want. You can do kicks. Just keep moving. You can even go to the side. Uh, squeezing those biceps while we have our armbands on. Make it fun. Hop the other way. <laughs> Good, last 10. Maybe do a can-can. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, let's swap out our bands. The question of the day is whether you are in school or you were in school, which I think all of us were at some point, what is or was your favorite subject and why? <laughs> and you can't say I don't have a favorite subject. I hate all of them. You have, to, you have to pick at least one. All right, what do we got? Go ahead and throw it in the chat. Unmute yourself. Ooh, I see a couple of them. Lunch, nice kids. <laughs> Lunch because we can eat. Lunch, you guys. <laughs> Lunch, marine biology. Why, Chris? Explain. Uh, it's a swimming thing. It's a swimming. I totally could have guessed that. Why did I not guess that? For those who said lunch, clever. Didn't think of that one. Fine, you can have it. <laughs> Two more answers. Favorite subject and why. No one else can use lunch. That's cheating. Well, human biology, because I love the body. Human biology, because I love the I love that. I am right there with you. All right, what else we got? Anatomy, because I love learning about the body. Yes! Now it makes sense while we're all on here working our bodies. Study of the cosmos. Interesting, Steve. I had no idea. <laughs> and the little things, too. Cool. All right. Anyone else? We got answers before we keep moving? It's interesting to learn about you guys. All right. Popping those leg bands on. Tighten everything up. And something I always have to remind myself of once I get my leg bands on, hiking the outer tubes up, creating that holster like. There we go. I like these answers. 
And let's go ahead and get started with the legs. Does anyone else have any answers? No? All right, these are good. For those who said anatomy, bonus points. I'm right there with you. Okay, so once we get all hooked up, we're gonna start working the calves. And the first exercise of the day is a sumo squat heel lift. Now, a lot of the movements that we do together, we revisit similar movements at different points throughout our workouts. So you might notice some repetition in the type of movements that we're doing. And that's exactly what you usually wanna see in a workout, because that means your body's warmed up and you're more apt to be able to do those things. So sumo squat, I angle my feet outward, chest is up, cycles are rolling, move these out of the way. I drop into it and then I'm gonna lift alternating heel. So we have 40 seconds here, starting to work the calves. Now, we can always make movements harder by adding speed, arms, different variations. So to make this one harder, see if you can lift both heels up and off the floor at the same time. And if you really want the challenge, whether you're doing singles or doubles, do not let your heels touch the floor the entire time we do it. And if you're needing even more, get your butt even lower, chest stays up, no rounding up the spine. Good, go for that shaky sensation. Woo, yes. Last 10, keep those heels off the floor the whole time, pressing the backs and knees open, no sleepy knees. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out. So, that sumo squat position, we're gonna come back into it. Uh, option to do the same thing you did before, or just roll along with me, we'll add some play into that into that exercise. So wherever you are, come into good sumo squat position, chest up, butt down, press the knees back behind you, 40 seconds. Go ahead and do what you were doing or both heels off the mat. See if you can drop them down one inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Ooh, I'm already starting to cramp, that's fun. <laughs> good, check those knees, check your spine. Good, if you wanna play a little bit more, lift the heels up, little pulses, drop your butt down. Keep your heels up, don't let them move. We are half done whichever variation you're doing. Heels up even higher. There we go. If you're shaking, good, I am too. Last 15 seconds, good. Hold your butt down, little pulses up with the heels this time. Yes, last 10. Woo, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the heels, parallel the feet, bend it out side to side, stretching the inner thighs. Good, and I'm pressing my hips back as I do this. Okay, now we have our heart rate boost. This time doing it with our leg bands instead of our arms. So angling the toes of the right foot out, left foot comes slightly in. If you've done yoga before, think warrior two. If you have not, this is warrior two. Elbows together, squeeze them. I like to separate my hands. 30 seconds, pulling that back knee in, let's go. Up, up. Yes. Yeah. Good. Keep the heel of the back foot up. Squeezing everything, core, glutes, quads, bands. Where are we at? Yes, last 10 seconds, and we're going right to the other side. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it up, other side. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Check your spine, check your core. It doesn't have to be fast. Keep squeezing your elbows together. Amazing. Go, Chris, go. And I want everyone to make sure that that front knee stays in line with your ankle. No flopping in, no flopping out. Last 10. Up, speed it up. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's jump it out. Option to play with your jump roping. You can add a single foot. You can jump out to the side, or you can just jump. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna play, why not? Yes, we're also balancing while we're here, if we so choose. <laughs> Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So the difference between a sumo squat and a regular squat is that a regular squat, my feet are parallel to slightly externally rotated. So here 
to here. In a sumo squat, I fully toss those feet open to the side. So before we do the sumo squat, this time we're gonna do a regular squat. So feet are slightly angled out, a little bit wider than hip distance, and then out of floor touch. Now that can look like two things. It can be touch, 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 or you can add that jump where you go down, down. The one thing I don't want to happen, this, chest up, touch, touch. So it's more of a reach. If you can't get down to the floor without rounding out your spine, it doesn't matter, okay? 40 seconds, first set in three, two, one, let's go. And you can slightly drop your front shoulder forward and still keep your spine straight. So just keep that in mind. Add maybe add a little rotation. There we go. And that's it. Getting your butt down. Light on those feet. Quentin, you are flying. Yes. Good job, gang. Keep it up, keep it up. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Take it out. Okay, second set, no modifications. Just keep doing what you're doing. If you wanna add speed, great time to add speed. As long as your spine is up, shoulders stay lifted. We have three, two, one, second set. See if you can get your butt even lower. That's your challenge. Butts down, chest up. Good work, Instagram, keep going. Nice. I see a shadow of Kelly and it looks awesome. Good, George. Ooh, keep going, keep going, Gabe. Nice, Diane, she's flying. Good, Lily. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right. Everybody, let's grab some water. It's been a minute. Sip by sip, not gulp by gulp, regulating the amount we consume. And one thing we want to be mindful of before we do any of our workouts is we try and drink a nice sized glass of water, um, say 10 to 12 ounces to keep us from getting dizzy while we use our bands. So just something to keep in mind as you go throughout your day to have the most optimal workout is hydrate, please. And I have to remind myself too, because I'm really bad at it. So frog to plank. We're in a familiar stance as we were before, and we are working our quads and our glutes. So I step my feet out wider than hip distance. I push my butt as far back as I can. Boom. I explode forward. I come back. Boom. Back. Boom. Okay. You get to pick your range of motion. I'd say modification. You can keep your knees down. Back. Forward. Back. Forward. Okay. But I want those feet nice and wide. None of this. I want this all the way back. Boom. Back. Explosive movement forward, straighten out the legs. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, 40 seconds. Let me see it. Yes. And your quads are going to start burning as you're doing these. And I did this movement myself on Saturday, so I do understand. Good. Get your butt back even further. Make that move forward, explosive. Gabe, nice. Good. Let's see if we can step the feet a little bit wider. Pick up our game. All right, last 10. Keep moving through it. You can do it. Squeeze your glutes. I know it burns. We're going to drop the knees in five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop your knees. Take them parallel and under your hips, and then press your butt back towards your heels. Get a quad stretch. If you want an even deeper quad stretch, get your butt off your heels. That was great. That was really good. All right, second set. Walk your hands forward. Tuck the toes, step the feet wide. Pick your knees off the mat, press your butt back in three, two, one, let's go. Up, back, up, back. Time is rolling. Woo, good. And we wanna try not to let our shoulders pass our wrists same thing when we were doing our frog toe touches before. Ideally, our hips don't lift up into a pike position. So keep dropping your butt lower and lower 
as you press it back towards your heels, you look fantastic. Sophia and Sydney, keep going. Good. Mm-hmm, last 10. Keep moving through it. Strong arms. Go, George. Yes, we have six, five, four, three, two. Everybody, come on up to stand. Quick quad stretch. Kick your heels towards your butt. Open these guys up. All right. So this is our second and last heart rate boost with the leg bands on. So we know what we need to do and we know how to do it well now. Let's start with the other leg. Left toes angle out, right toes angle in. Squeeze those elbows, 30 seconds, back knee to arm, let's go, up, up. Good, keep pulling your belly button in towards your spine, use your core to help get that knee even higher. Pump it, yes. Checking your front knee, is it in line with your ankle or, ankle or is it getting sleepy? Keep moving. In, yes, last 10. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're gonna change sides in four, three, two, and one. Here we go, let's pump. In, in. These ones always get my heart rate so high. <laughs> Use your core, yes, half done. Then we're gonna go right into jump rope play. We have 10, squeeze the elbows. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's jump, hop it out. Option to play, Simon says jump rope. Simon says lift your right foot. Simon says lift your left foot. Simon says right knee in. Simon says left knee in. Simon says right leg out. Simon says left leg out. Last 10 seconds, hop it out. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, shake it out, move. Okay, we're gonna keep the heart rate elevated. Set my right foot back. My left foot is forward. Now, we've been doing a move where we tap our foot to our hand. So we're used to using our core to do it. Let's do it in a standing position. So, I go kick, kick, up, up. If getting toes to fingers is a bit much, tap your knee. Up, up, okay? 40 seconds, we're gonna do the first side and the second side back to back. Take a quick rest and we'll do our second set. Right leg back, left leg forward, ready? Set, let's go. Up, up, whoo! Get that back knee down, make it strength. Whoo, yes, that's it. Mm-hmm, arms are moving, legs are moving, heart rate is definitely moving. Yeah, that's it. Good, using our core to keep our spine straight, no rounding out. All right, let's go. 10 more seconds, get that back knee towards the floor. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Right face forward, left foot back. Ready, set, go. Good. Kick, kick. That's the stuff. Woo. Nice, George. Mm hmm. And these don't have to be fast. You can move slowly and work with balance. Something I'm noticing is we don't want to just kind of kick. We want to try and come back into that lunge position. Then get it up. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick. So really keeping that lunge as part of the movement. Last 20 seconds. Good. Nice, Bonnie. I'm seeing some people's feet just flying towards the camera. We have six, five, four. Good, Chris. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's take a quick stretch. Step your right foot back. Glue your heel down. Bend into the left knee. Get all the way into that back half. Good. Keep bending into the front knee. Now this heel is going to want to lift. Don't let your right heel come off the floor. Switch sides. Glue that heel down. Ooh, already feel the stretch. And then you can deepen it by bending into the front knee. And sometimes you can even go deeper by lifting the toes of the left foot off the floor so it puts the weight into the heel 
stretching the calf even more. All right, now that we have right leg forward, left leg back, let's work into it. Good, find your arms. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Kick, kick, lunge, kick, lunge, kick. Get that back knee down. No cheating ourselves of the move. All right, Woo. that's it. Get your hand to your foot if you can. Use your core, use your balance, use your glutes, do everything you've got. We are half done with this set. Awesome. Good. After this, we have two more moves and then balance and core. And we are done. We're going to switch sides in five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. So I think about pulling opposite arm back. So the same leg and opposite arm are back. So I go kick, back, kick, back. Time is rolling. Yes, get that knee down. It can be slow. It can be slow. Yes, after this, we're going to take a quick water break because we've been moving. Mm-hmm. Good, getting toes to fingers. Last 15 seconds. I know we're getting tired. Keep breathing through it. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Pace that breath if you can. Last 10. Woo, keep going, keep going. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Who's tired? A little tired? That was kind of hard. Good job. I see people like, yes. <laughs> Grab your water and take a sip. I saw a lot of people getting their foot to or up towards their hands, which makes me really happy because that means we're using our core and we're getting strong enough balance wise to stand on one leg and completely kick our other leg forward. And that's pretty cool. That's hard work. Okay. Sumo squat punch. So sumo squat means toes all the way out. I drop down into a sumo squat. I lift punch, drop down, lift opposite leg, punch, down, punch, down, punch, okay? Now, it's hard to keep the feet completely externally rotated here. If they start to come in a little bit, that's totally fine. Get low, up, down, up, getting that leg up towards the arm. We're going in three, two, one, here we go, down, up, down, up, side to side. Get your butt low. Keep your knee, imagine pulling it up towards the opposite elbow as you reach. So a little cross body action, up. Yes, so we're also getting into our spine half done. Uh-huh, good, don't forget that squat at the bottom, get your butt to the floor. Good, beautiful. I saw someone on here who was absolutely killing it. Lily looks great. Nice, we have five, four, three, two, and rest. I see someone named Lisa. Hi hey Lisa, nice to meet you, you're doing great. <laughs> I just realized, I was like, I haven't met Lisa before, I don't think. Awesome job, I saw you doing this. All right, gang, next set, same thing. If you're feeling a little wild today and you just need more, you just need more because you do. Hands behind the head, same thing. Down, up, down, up, okay? Find that contact. So same thing as opposite hand to opposite foot. This time, knee to elbow. In three, two, one, let's move. Down, in, down, in. Pace is up to you. Chest up. Whew. Good. Weight is in the heels. At no point do your heels pop up the floor. Yes. Keep breathing. Keep moving. All right. I'm seeing some people like add a kick. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Why not? We're still moving. It's great. <laughs> Last 10. Movement is movement. Good, John. Ooh, that is a low squat. Oh my gosh. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Stay in that squat position. 
bend your knees so much so that you can walk your hands down to your ankles, grab them, and then keeping your ankles and your hands straight in your legs as much as you can and rock side to side. Now, I know your legs may or may not go fully straight. That's okay. We're going for that stretch. And then let the upper body round. All right. Last exercise of the day. Before we do balance work, we're coming back into plank position. Okay. We're going to do some plank side jumps. And we did this on Friday. But because our quads are used to doing this, instead of bringing our butt back to our heels, we're going to bring our knees up to our arms. So we're going to go up, out, up, out. And it's a similar movement with the knees bending as this. Just instead of bringing ourselves back, we're bringing ourselves up. Okay? If doing it with both feet is not working, side steps, up, up. Otherwise, we're hopping side to side, okay? We have 30 seconds straight. I want you to go all out because then we're coming up, letting the heart rate drop and doing balance work. We have four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Give me everything you've got. Yes. And it's really hard not to shift and rock with the arms here. Use your core. Keep your upper body still and stable. Press the floor away from you with your hands. Keep it active. If you need to pause and plank, pause and plank. You can step foot to same hand or you can hop side to side. All right. Last 10 seconds. Give me everything you got. Last push of the day for six, five. Good, Kelly. Four, three, two, and one. Everybody up. All right. Let's do some balance work. So everyone walk around a little bit. Let your heart rate drop. I'm doing a lot of work. I've been boosting our heart rate. Sometimes, even if we take just two or three days off of working out, it can be hard coming back into it. And I definitely had that experience this morning when I tried this workout myself. So for balance today, we're going to bring the hands back to the head. And you're going to think knee to elbow. So I'm rooting all of my weight into my left foot. I come onto the tiptoes of my right foot. And I go up, hover, up, hover. So the same thing we did in squats. We're just working on getting that knee even higher. And if you want to add more of a challenge, you can also bring your elbow down to your leg. Tap, center, tap, center. That's the stuff. And it doesn't matter to me how high you get that leg off the floor, as long as you're trying it. Good, last 10 seconds. Up, hover, up, hover. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides, root all the weight into the right foot, coming to the tip toes of the left. Bring that leg up, down. And if it's too much to bring your elbow to your leg, Keep pressing your arms back. You can also just take your arms out to the sides for additional balance. Mm -hmm. Good. And if you can, add that little crunch in there. And down. Good. Up and down. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Use your core. Use your obliques. That's what's working here. Our thighs are working. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. This time, elbow to knee. Hover, so all the weight is in the right leg. Hover your left foot off the floor. Twist, center, twist, center. Keep your foot off the floor. That's it, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. It can be a small move. It is a practice, just like speaking another language. We're teaching our body how to do something new with balance. Fantastic, half done. Then we're going to go right to the other side. Last 10 seconds. Good. Take it slow. Find contact. More important than speed here. Letting the heart rate mellow out a little bit before we come down for our last work, which is our core and our back. We have five, four, three, two. Last one. Let's do the other side. Root right into the left foot. Pick your right foot off the floor. Let's crunch. Come up. Crunch. And up. There we go. And as you're doing this, think about what muscles you can engage to help control your body. 
So maybe that's your glutes, your core, your quads, whatever it is. Focus your atten attention on those muscles. It really helps. Good, last 10. Take it slow. Beautiful. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Last work of the day is core. Got a big old water bottle in our picture. All right, gonna angle this down a bit. We have two hollow body holds. So we've been doing a lot of movement today. And now we're gonna build what I call strength in stillness. So I come down onto my mat or my workspace and I start with my arms and my legs up, my head's up. And then I start to drop my arms and my legs down to as low of an angle as I can find and hold, keeping my back rooted into the floor the whole time. And we're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. So let's set up together, we have two of these. Lift your head up, lift your arms up, lift your legs up. My time is rolling. Drop your arms and your legs down into as low of an angle as you can hold for the next 25 seconds. And with each exhale, you take, keep pressing your lower back into the floor, reaching your heels and fingertips in opposite directions. Keep going. And this is one of my favorite core exercises because if you can keep your arms and your legs off the floor using just your core, that's pretty amazing. That's hard stuff. Your legs are really heavy. We have five, four, three, two. Pull your knees into your chest, rock side to side, release it. We have one more of those. And I know that I am shaking every time I do a hollow body hold. So let's set up for our next one. On your back, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Reach the arms up, reach the legs up. My time is rolling. Find that angle, dropping arms and legs, and holding here. And ideally, whatever angle we pick, we can hold the whole time. God. And the reason these are so hard is because our legs are pretty darn heavy. So anytime we use our core to support the weight of both of our legs, that's a tough task. We have eight more seconds. Press your back down, pull your belly button in for five, four, three, and two. Pull your knees into the chest, rock side to side, release your back. Awesome. Now, the last challenge of the day is you can either rock and roll yourself up to sit and then come up to stand, or if you want something more challenging to make your way up to stretch, we will rock and roll all the way up to stand. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. <laughs> all right, quad stretch. You can grab onto something or you can grab onto yourself. Kick your left heel into your butt. We did a lot of these guys today, especially with those frog moves. Now notice here that that knee is going to want to flare out to the side. Keep pulling the knees together and then tuck your tailbone under, lifting your hip bones up. So shortening that space right here. Good. And this might be balance work in itself. All right, let's switch sides. Pull the knees together. Squeeze your glutes. Shorten that space right there good see if you can grow a little bit taller pull that knee back even more and then go ahead and release it take your right leg cross it over your left now i want you to find your big toes and press them both into the floor and then walk your hands down your leg and as you do this, I want you to keep shifting your weight to the left. You can bend a little bit deeper into the right knee. All right, 10 more seconds here. Keeping that left leg nice and straight as you shift your weight over to the left. IT band stretch. And then go ahead and roll up to stand. Let's switch sides. Crossing left leg over right. Bending into the left leg. Come into a forward fold. This time shifting your weight to the right. I'm feeling this in the outer part of the right hip. Good. Ten more seconds here. Letting the upper body hang and fold as you bend into the left knee a little bit more. Relax their shoulders, relax the jaw. One more breath. 
come on up to stand, last stretches, step the feet wide, reach the arms up, take both hands over to the right leg, fold into it. Good, start to roll up to stand, reach your arms up, both over to the left leg. Pulling the floor in opposite directions with your heels to keep lengthening the backs of the legs. And then start to roll yourself back up through center as you come up, arms come up, big star shape. Bring your hands together, round of applause. Good job. We'll be here tomorrow doing more work. If anyone has requests for any types of workouts or body parts they would like to focus on, by all means, please let me know. These workouts are for you and not for me. So with that being said, have a great rest of your day. And Thank I will you. see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.